Lindsay Vaughan is in the gates, looking to take her 21st at Crystal Globe. She's got to beat Godja into second position, and then she needs another skier to beat Godja again if Lindsay is to take her ninth downhill tour title. Very aggressive on that opening section, and the clock agrees with her. 0.17 of a second up on Godja, really risking everything here, and we know why. 55, 65, that is the way to play the game. Lindsay Vaughan plays her ace, but it is not quite enough. Goggia leads the downhill tour standings by three points. Lindsay Vaughn needs another skier to beat Goggia's time. The final downhill of the season in Ore, Sweden, is one replete with drama. As the remainder of the field hits the slope in turn, Sofia Goggia and Lindsay Vaughn wait. Locked in, an entire season of hard work and triumph hanging in the balance. If just one remaining skier knocks Gogia down from her second place standing, the 2018 downhill glow will go to Lindsey Vaughn. If Gogia hangs on to second, the downhill title is hers. In the 23rd position, Alice McKennis is up next. Healthy and looking to build off her solid Olympic performance, McKennis has the speed and skill to shake up the top three. An expert course report and encouragement from a teammate is always welcome especially when that colleague has 81 World Cup wins. Down a little bit higher, but it's not a big deal, okay? Stick to line, we inspect it. Whatever you do, carry your feet the whole way down, okay? Do not hold back because of lightest spot. You can do this. Top to bottom, let's go. Yeah, copy. Gotcha must hold on to that runner-up position if she's to take the season title. What Lindsay Vaughn needs is McKinnis to go into second position. Alice McKinnis, fastest in the practice run here 24 hours ago. A very valuable course report from the current leader, Lindsay Vaughn.